Start by opening the Typography Tutorial Drawing. Set a 2D view, looking at the entire patio, pool, and backyard. From the Landscape tab, click Fence, left-click once at the corner of the house, continue clicking with your left mouse button to define the shape or perimeter of the fence, and right-click to finish. Like other drawing tools, you can click individual points, drag them with your mouse and cursor, or use your arrow keys to nudge the fence points if you'd like. Now set a split view, 2D, 3D, side by side, and get a good view of the driveway, both in 2D and 3D. Now from the landscape tools and the topography tools, choose slope lot section. This allows us to left click and drag, then release to set the direction and the length of the slope. The starting elevation, that's the elevation that the slope begins at. The descent angle is exactly what you think. In this case it's an 8 degree slope. You can change the descent angle at any time and it will automatically update the drawing. Now we'll pan back towards the back of the drawing, looking at the north east corner of our property. And we'll add another slope. Again, press the left mouse button and drag, and release where you want the slope to end. And now we'll get a better view so that you can see what those two different slopes look like together. So you can have multiple slopes in the same drawing. There are other ways to customize the topography as well. Let's take a moment and add a berm to the front yard. Back to our split view. Now take a moment and set a view in the southwest corner of the front yard in both 2D and 3D. Now choose Topography Line, click the tool, and you'll define two things. First, the shape of the topography object to create. We've chosen the circle oval. And the second thing that you'll select from that other pop-up is the method of drawing that shape. To make that oval constrained into a circle, just press the shift key as you drag your cursor out. Again, click, drag out with your button down, hold the shift key to constrain it to a circle. Click to select the inner circle, change the topography elevation to two feet, and you'll see it render a raised topography feature in the yard. You can update these values anytime you like and it will update the drawing. The default ground elevation is zero so your topography features elevations will go up or down from there. 